Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and of course, we have the very wide reporting of a lot of people having a problem with the update that was pushed yesterday, uh, KB 517.16. Now, um, there's an easy fix. I had one fix that I told you it actually installs. It's just that the, uh, the problem is that it wants to install again. And apparently it has to do with a conflict with the fact that it was already installed back in October or earlier or next not last year, actually. So um, this is why it's doing that error. And there's a very easy fix. If you don't want to download that hide update that I showed you yesterday, because that was a fix that works. The easiest fix you can do is go into your settings. Into your settings, you will go into apps. And of course, make sure that you see all of the apps that are installed. At some point, you will actually find that there's a Windows update that is part of the system and it's right here. So this is the update. You see that it installed yesterday or today. I, I reinstalled it actually, uh, 8.94.0.0. This is KB 517.16. Uninstalled it from here. Once it's completely uninstalled, what you will do is, and this is what I tried and it does work, you'll go back to your uh, Windows updates and the update in security, and you will check for updates again. And by checking for updates, it will re-download the uh, feature update. It will install it. And starting from there, you'll notice that when you check for updates, everything's fine. So what it does is actually when you remove it from there, it removes the new one and the old one that are kind of clashing together. And by doing that fixes the problem. So it's an easy fix, even easier than the one that I showed about hiding the update because it was installed basically. So it's really the case that that update is kind of installed twice. And now it, bogs down the system and tries to download it and install it again and again and again. So uh, just the easy fix on the apps and features, just remove it from there, go into Windows Update to find it again, and you will be okay for that update. It's a simple fix. Uh, there's a lot of people complaining about that error message on that. And actually, it's interesting because it happened the same in October for a lot of people. That update had created that same um, the same problem for a lot of people. Now, the uh, interesting part, because a lot of people are saying, why is there an update with the same KB number, with the same number installed again and again? Well, sometimes they tweak an update and actually update with the new version of that same update because something has changed or there's something new that they want to do with it. So it's normal that from time to time there's a new update that might have the same catalog number as an older update. Uh, it's simply that they've made a change to it. So if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.